All right, so the Super Bowl betting is up. If you're here in Vegas, I got the over at 52. It's now up to 54 and a half. So a lot of money's coming in on this game right now. And uh, you still got, what, a week and a half to the game plays. So the spread will probably go up to 55 or 56. And then they'll start coming down because then a lot of people are going to take the, the under at that point. But I got first half at 26. And I got the total game at 52. I'll be doing in-game betting and stuff like that because uh, if you're lucky to be in one of the states, you know, like Vegas, Jersey, Vegas isn't a state. But uh, you could you could in-game bet if you're in one of those states. I think Delaware might have that also because uh, I know the limo guy asked me uh, some information on the game, so I gave him that. And uh, so the problem is it started at 50. They opened at 50 and a half. I got it at 52 for the total game and first half at 26. So the sports book, you know, to open at 50, everybody jumped on it at 50 and a half because, you know, they score a lot of points, the, the Chiefs and the, and the 49ers. So uh, if it goes to 56, wait for it to come back down. That's what's going to happen. It'll definitely come down if it gets to around 56, 57. All right, so we're in New Hampshire, a family walking, taking a nice little stroll, and a coyote comes out and attacks his two dogs, attacks his kid. Started going after the guy's wife. The guy, the guy jumps on the coyote and he strangles it, puts it in a chokehold, and uh, I don't know if the the coyote is dead or not. But uh, you know that's what you got to do. You got to watch out for these coyotes. I'm here in Vegas. Two three years ago, I'm walking, you know, because I'm three three four blocks from the desert. There's a coyote walking across the street. I got my two dogs with me, and the coyote's walking stride for stride, and I stop. I, I turned my dog so it doesn't face the coyote. And I was looking right at that coyote. And I told the coyote, he said, you come across the street, I'm going to friggin' kill you. But I didn't say friggin'. I said the other word. But I'm going to try to keep this clean. But I, I said the other F word. Not friggin'. It rhymes with friggin'. Does friggin' rhyme with fucking? But that's what I told the coyote. And the coyote started walking away after I told him that. Because that's the smart thing the coyote did. It looked at me. He's like, this guy's like 300 pounds. He's crazy. He's going he's gonna to definitely kill me. Plus, you know what? I got backup. I got my two dogs there with me anyway. So that's what happened with that thing. And that's why I was like, you got to watch out for these coyotes. You know, if you're going to take a walk, you know, you got to bring like a stun gun or something. Or, you know, like uh, pepper spray. So if a coyote comes out, you spray yourself in the face and then you fall down. And then you don't know what happens because you don't want to see what happens. Because if you can't fight off this coyote, you don't want to watch your dogs get killed by it. And in California these days, there's, there's a, a guy and a girl would set up uh, bikes to get stolen. So they put them in the front yard. They got the cameras. Someone grabs the bike. They run out with bats, and they beat the shit out of the guys. And they were doing this for fun. This is, this is a new hobby because, you know, racing is too expensive, you know, because you got to buy a car, and then you, you got the racing tires, and then you got to spend, you know, $150 to go race the car at the track. So this is a better hobby, I guess, because, you know, all you got to do is buy a bicycle for, you know, 200 bucks or 150 You can probably get it on, you know, on uh, eBay. You get a used bike on eBay or, you know, Craigslist for, you know, for 50 bucks, maybe even free. And then you just put the, it's got to be a nice bike because you, you want them to steal it. You can't have a piece of shit bike because the, the hobby wouldn't work. So the whole idea was they get a bike. They put it in front of their house, and they wait for somebody to take the bike, and then they run out with bats and beat the, beat the shit out of the kids or uh, the guys, whatever it was. But, uh, yeah, so that's a new hobby because, uh, like I said, racing is too expensive. So I just watched a video over on the ABC uh, Twitter account, whatever it is, and uh, they have eight guys over in Houston, eight guys armed with guns going to a Houston restaurant, and they steal money and jewelry and phones, and uh, and then they leave after the end. They strike one or two people, but uh, eight people. What'd you get? Three hundred dollars? You got to split it eight ways? What are you crazy? If you you're gonna rob a rob a restaurant, you know, eight people's too much. They probably had a, you know seven guys in the getaway car, you know, in case you know one to open the door, one to start the car, one to change the flat if there's a flat tire. There's, so, there's, you know, they have a school bus out there, probably a stolen school bus, but uh, eight people to rob a restaurant, what, what does it take? 
What are you going to split $33, you stupid idiots? Oh, did I call them stupid idiots? Oh, no, I got to watch out now. I, 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 I have to watch out for these eight guys. They might come and get me. But uh, the coronavirus, that big virus, uh, flu virus over in China that then went to Japan and then it went to uh, somewhere else, it's now here in America. And if you, uh, if you don't want to get the coronavirus, you got to drink responsible. <laughs>